Hello, and welcome to another update on the Solar Power Cap mobile device charging hat. So, this is Bob. In the words of Morton from my YouTube series Airship Pirates, Bob here is going to have a bad day. That's because we are going to be drilling a hole in his head. Why, you ask? Because here at Powered Living, we are committed to safety. That's why we smash things against the pavement, beat them with hammers, and try to catch them on fire. It's purely our dedication to safety. We certainly gain no personal satisfaction out of it whatsoever. As you can see here, Bob is wearing one of our hats that's already rather beaten up. The point of this test is to see what happens when we drill straight through the lithium iron phosphate battery. Obviously, we don't expect this sort of thing to normally happen but this is kind of a worst case scenario. Now, quick note on the battery before we get to the good stuff. The batteries we use are inherently stable iron-based chemistry, unlike the dangerous lithium polymer batteries used in most electronics and pretty much all cell phones. This is a video of what happened to one of those when someone stabbed it with a knife. But in our test, we're not just going to be stabbing it with a knife. We're going to drill all the way through it. So let's get started. So I've uh, put a uh, little, you know, marker here telling me where I need to drill. Um, this is, so there's a battery right underneath this. Uh, we, we like to use these kind of smaller batteries and have more of them uh, under the idea that if something does go wrong, which again, you know, we don't anticipate things going wrong, obviously. But if it does, it's a small battery. It's not going to cause that much, uh, that, that much damage. Um, but yes, one of the batteries is right there, right under this X. Now, first, I need to secure this head to my little fire retardant uh, foam plate here. So let me take care of that. I'll be get right back to you guys. All right, that should do it. Now. Uh, we are going to drill right through there. Let's see if I can do this on the first try. There we go. Okay, and there we go. Okay, so I've drilled through the hat. I've drilled through the battery. And uh, now if you were wearing this hat, uh, you would probably notice that it gets quite warm at this point. Uh, so we have this battery inside of a, uh, a, a fire retardant bag. And you can see there's a little bit of smoke coming out of this now. Uh, and it would be, yeah, it would be quite warm. Uh, you'd want to take that hat off. Uh, if <laughs> So if this were to happen, and for some bizarre reason, you were more concerned about the hat than the person who just had a hole drilled through their head. But let's, you know, let's just go with it and say that that happens. So you'd, you'd want to get that hat off of the person and you'd want to put it outside. I'd put it like on the cement or something, just in case. Now, in theory, these lithium iron phosphate batteries don't catch fire. They can't, you know, they're not supposed to, okay? I <laughs> just, you know, disclaimer here, Anything can happen, I'm not making any guarantees. But in theory, these batteries don't catch fire, don't explode, and they're far more safe. Um, but still, to be on the safe side, if something were to happen and somehow you punctured a battery, even though we have it kind of protected in there, that happens, you'd take the hat off, you'd put it on the cement uh, somewhere where there's nothing nearby that could catch on fire, right? Okay. And then you just kind of sit there, watch it for, I don't know, give it a good 15 minutes or so uh, and make sure that it's good. And then you'd want to dispose of it safely. And, and that's going to, you know, the instructions for how exactly to do that are going to depend on the battery manufacturer. So you can see it's, it's kind of, it's pretty much stopped at this point. I can feel a little bit of warmth here. Now, right on the battery, uh, I know from experience, it is really hot, but we've got it in that, uh, uh, that fire protective uh, pouch in there, so hopefully that should help 
protect the uh, protect Bob here, even though he does have a hole drilled in his head. And you know, to be honest, I'm not sure what this is going to look like when we take it off because I have, this is a, my first time doing this exact test. Uh, but anyway, yeah, back to the point. So uh, yeah, um, you'd want to just let it kind of sort itself, uh, kind of short itself out, uh, and and get rid of all of the excuse me stored energy in there. <clears throat> Um, and I think this is, so if you were in the field, you'd probably want to give it longer than I'm giving it, but still, I think this is probably good. So let's take this off here. And there is Bob's, wow, okay. I'm kind of impressed, <laughs> to be perfectly honest, this has gone a little better than I thought it would. There's just the smallest of indentations in the head itself. Hopefully you can see that in the video, but it's it's just caused by the drill itself. There's no melting of the styrofoam. There's no scorch marks. So this went quite well. Now again, you know, this is no guarantee of performance. I'm not guaranteeing anything. And there's this this product is gonna have, you know, all the safety disclaimers any other product would. But I will say these batteries are inherently safer than standard commercial uh, lithium polymer batteries. Um, and it does look like, now you probably can't see that too well, but in there we've got, it's, it's in the pouch and it does look like that has done its job. It's still pretty warm, like uncomfortably warm. So if that was on your head, you'd want to take it off. But that is not bad at all. So if this was like a, a lithium polymer battery, I wouldn't even dare touch it. But that's not too bad. Um, yeah, okay. So yeah, that's great. Uh, that seems to have worked pretty well. Um, I'm going to probably do some more tests. Uh, uh, but I wanted you guys to see this first one. Um, and of course, you know, it kind of goes without saying that this hat is broken. It was broken before I did this. See all these uh, dents? You can see these rather, rather horrendous dents in the thing. Uh, <laughs> I beat on it with a hammer. Uh, I'll probably include that in the final cut of this video. And uh, it stopped working. The solar cells stopped working about halfway through the hammer test. Uh, it survived though. It survived the throwing it at the pavement test. Worked fine after that, but beating it with a hammer, it did eventually break. And because of that, I changed the way these work. So in future models, we add another protective layer to the, uh, uh, to the solar cells. And we also wire them in such a way that if there's a break, it's basically a redundant wiring scheme. It's actually, it's there, the, 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 half the cells are in series, half the cells are in parallel uh, on the newer hats. And what that means is that it continues to work even if some of the wires break. Um, so yeah, so that's cool. You know, these these tests of, of abusing the equipment, uh, uh, not only are they kind of fun, but they also help me to, to see changes I can make to the product to make it better. Um, so let's see. Um, so, I, you know, one more thing I want to stress, you know, this obviously is not something we expect to happen very often. Uh, batteries should never be punctured under any circumstances. Do not do this at home, <laughs> unless you're a little insane like I am. Um, no, even if you are insane, I am not condoning this in any stretch of the imagination. Uh, moving on. Uh, but yeah, so so you know, we don't expect this to happen. But if it happens, uh, you know, you'll be reasonably safe. You, I'll say this: you are far, far, far safer wearing this hat then putting a cell phone up to your face. That's just, to me, that's just unquestionable truth. Uh, the, the, the battery in your cell phone is a little thermite bomb waiting to go off. I mean, really. I, it, I'm not saying you should go home and try to drill a hole in one, but if you do, <laughs> you will find that they're quite volatile. Unlike these, which really aren't too bad. Um, let's see, um, just trying to think of if there's anything else we were to talk about, um, that's about it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna link, uh, some safety information about these batteries, um, which is gonna give you kind of the official rundown of what you should do if there's ever a problem with the battery, uh, and like some, some, some medical warnings and that sort of thing, um, 
and and you do want to pay attention to those. I'm going to be linking the ones for uh, uh, batteries that are this exact same chemistry, but they may not be the battery that ends up in the hat, but it's the same basic thing. So I guess what I'm trying to say is the one I'm linking may not be the one that's in the hat, but it's good to read anyway as a basic premise of, of uh, you know, what you're likely to, to run into. All right, well, I hope you've enjoyed this. I tried to have a little bit of fun with this. And uh, yeah, thank you. And I will see you next time.